here with me Live inside the rhythm Lift your head up, let me be your Welcome back, this is part 2 of STEM Mastering and Logic Pro X My name is Rob Rox Today we're talking about mixing lead and backing vocals I'll show you different techniques how you separate the lead vocal from the backings For example, um, we're gonna use a mid-side EQ, panning and uh, some basic EQ settings for vocals um, for this part I switched the song this is a track by TK DJs from New York it's called Don't Leave let's listen to the final master As you can hear, the, the vocals are very well recorded and pre-produced. So we, we don't have to spend much time on repair work. Let's see what we got here. Um, this is the, the lead vocal. These two tracks. We have a low double take vocal and two high harmonies over here. Um, let's start with the lead vocal. This is the lead vocal. Uh, I bounced it in place. So this is the final version. Don't leave. Stay here with me. Live inside the rhythm. Lift your head up. Let me be your serenity. This is the vocal that was given to me. Don't leave. Stay here with me, live inside the rhythm, lift your head up, let me be your... Alright, I started with a basic um, vocal EQ, basic low cut, a little dip around 100. I cut out the mid frequencies to make it less muddy, um, around 400, 750. I boosted at 1.2k. Um, this is the area where the, the character and the personality of a vocal sit. Um, this one over here at 3K, this, this cut over here um, is to de -harsh the vocal a little bit. And I emphasized that with a de -esser. Then basic compression, uh, fast release, slow attack. So this is not Don't very leave. special. Stay here with me. Live inside the rhythm. Lift your head. Then I me. use the the C4. I really like the C4. It's a multiband compressor. I really like it on the, on vocals. I only use this band around between 120 no actually it's 90 and um, to 600 so these are the the lower mids um all these other bands are bypassed so instead of cutting out the with an eq i i just uh, compress this frequency and it's very important to to set the attack and release time don't leave stay here with me live inside the rhythm lift your head up let me be your serenity don't leave stay here with me live inside yeah um you, you don't lose the energy of the vocal um the last compressor is uh just to add a little bit of analog vibe and touch to the vocal all right, um, let's go on with with the sand effects over here. There are a lot of sand effects. Nothing special, basic uh, reverb. And um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure 
we're gonna make a, an extra tutorials tutorial on this one um, but I want to show you bus 7 and bus 21 because these two effects um, are very helpful for the lead vocal um, I always add these effects to the lead vocal um, but not to the ba uh, backing vocals bus 7 is um, is a mono spring reverb don't leave stay here with me live inside the rhythm lift your head up let me be your you can use any reverb plugin um, it's just very important that after that you can you can set the the logic um, gain plugin and set it to mono that's very important um, bus 21 is a harmonizer to thicken the vocal sound and to make it a little bit fuller. Um, let's compare that. Don't leave, stay here with me. Live inside the rhythm, lift your head up, let me be your serenity. Don't leave, stay here with me. Live inside the rhythm, lift your head up, let me be your so. Um, so you have like two double takes left and on the left side and on the right side and there's a, a slightly delay and a slightly detune on that um, you can if you don't have this plugin you can easily build that effect with logic stock plugins um, for example you can just root this lead vocal to um, let's take these auxiliary tracks to these two auxiliary tracks and then you pan them left and right um, you add um, a little bit of delay to the left side let's say um, 14 and on the right side let's say Set this to the right side should be like let's say 20. All right. And then you you just have to detune them. You use the the pitch correction, no the pitch shifter, and you go um minus 10 maybe something like that. And over here you go plus. 15, 40, whatever. All right, this is how you build your uh, harmonizer effect in Logic. Let's jump to the backing vocals. Um, we have two high harmonies over Don't here. Leave. Stay here with me. Live inside the rhythm. Lift your head up, let me be your... Usually you pan them left and right so you have your harmonies on the sides and you have the lead vocal in the middle in this case if you zoom in you can see that they're already bounced with a panning the left side is lower than the right side and over here the right side is lower than the left side um, so there is no need for extra panning but um, these two tracks are ruled to bar 36 which is this one and um, let's check out the settings um, this is a basic de -esser. this is um, SSL channel strip um, I boosted at 800 I boosted 2.5 dB at 1.5 K I cut 1.5 dB and then around 14 I boost again so if you remember the lead vocal which is over here right so we cut out the lead at 800 we boost the backing at 800 we boost the lead at 1.2 K we cut the backing at 1.5 so it's the other way around so that we can build the backing around the lead vocal that's the idea and after that EQ I'm gonna use another EQ to emphasize this idea and I used it in a mid-side mode 
which means I cut the mid signal at 1.5k to, to create a little bit more space for the lead vocal and I boost the side signal at 4 and a high shelf at 12. Like that you can separate the backing vocals from the lead vocal and um, yeah the lead, there's more space for the lead vocal and it will cut through the mix a lot better. So let's listen to that. There are some additional plugins but... Don't leave, stay here with me Live inside the rhythm, lift your head up, let me be your serenity Don't Okay, without the, the mid-side EQ and without this basic SSL EQ. Don't leave, stay here with me. Live inside the rhythm, lift your head up, let me be your serenity. Don't leave. They are more to the front, but they are still separated from the lead vocal, so you can identify the lead vocal. Um, yeah, this is the idea. So... To sum up, we used basic EQ settings, panning, and a mid-side EQ to separate the lead vocal from the backing. All right, guys. See you next time. Live inside the rhythm. Lift your head up. Let me be your.